Hello bold and beautiful fans, and welcome back to Bold and Restless channel. On both the bold and the beautiful and the young and the restless, Sheila Carter has eluded justice so many times that it's a wonder justice even bothers chasing her anymore. Rich Forrester knows this better than most, having taken part in a sting operation that obtained from her a murder confession that was subsequently thrown out of court. Now that Sheila is a free woman once again, and exerting an inexplicable hold over Sun Finn, Ridge may be driven to the ultimate extreme to keep the madwoman from terrorizing his daughter a second more. No more Mr. Nice Guy. As Ridge raged at Finn this week, we couldn't help but flash back to what he told Steffi and Brooke. Sheila is the threat to all of us, he said. And we will deal with this in our own way. As far as we can see, there is only one way to deal with it. If Ridge doesn't want Sheila to remain a clear and present danger to his family, he's going to have to take her out himself. It certainly isn't out of the question. Ridge is the kind of hothead that other hotheads look at and go, dude, chill. He's thrown almost as many punches as he has designed dresses. And were we ever really sure that he didn't kill his blackmailer, Dr. Valine? Pulling a Sheila on Sheila. We wouldn't put it past Ridge to tear a page from Sheila's playbook and establish an alibi ahead of time. Maybe even bring Brooke in on it and tell her, look, here's what's going to happen. I want you to take some sleeping pills, go have yourself a good nap, and that way, you can testify in all sincerity that as far you know, I never left the house tonight. Or Ridge could once again team up with Bill. Ridge could arrange to meet with Sheila on the pretext of establishing some ground rules for her future on the periphery of his family, fill her full of lead, then with Bill's help, drive the body to the desert and bury it. Done and done. In the aftermath. In that scenario, the real fun would come in after Sheila is gone. Would Bill, whose hands are clean, be able to resist killing two birds with one stone? This bunker's plot will have already removed Sheila as a concern. Maybe it could also ruin Ridge, like, say, if Deputy Chief Baker were to get an anonymous tip about the location of the body and the handkerchief Ridge used to wipe his sweaty brow. It's covered with the kind of DNA evidence that could get the dressmaker sent away for life. If not Ridge, who do you think will off Sheila? That's it for today. Let us know your thoughts in the comment, and remember to subscribe for more spoilers and updates.